Well, hello everybody, it is Blake. Welcome back for another super exciting, spooktacular video. This one's gonna be a little bit different for you guys, throwing it back to like some of my very first videos here on the channel when I created my very own Hocus Pocus spell book back in like 2011 or 2012 or something. So long ago, oh my goodness. But as you can tell from the title of this video, if you came here because of the title, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, click wherever that subscribe button is around me because it'll help me out and you can see all the fun videos that I'm gonna be posting for the upcoming fall and Halloween season. Or if you're a regular subscriber and you just happen to click on this video, Welcome back guys, good to see you. Thank you for coming. We are going to be creating my very own one of a kind Hocus Pocus DIY witch broom Halloween decorations. I don't really know like what I'm calling them. I guess they're gonna be like my own little pieces of art essentially. So yes, this is gonna be a very exciting project. I'm gonna bring you guys along to Michael's with me so we can go and pick up a couple products that I need. I'm gonna show you what the basis of this design is. Up there on the wall, I have one broom that I purchased from Michael's last week when I was there and I hung it up and I was like, this is beautiful. But you know what? Both sides on either side of it now look so bare because it's like a very long strip of wall basically. So I was like, because the whole living room is Hocus Pocus themed, why not get two other brooms and then make them be like the Hocus Pocus Sanders and Sister witch brooms? Like they're like little mini brooms, but I figured that I could make them look super duper cute and create like a little shrine for each of the Sanders and Sisters. So I'm gonna have a Sarah Sanderson broom, a Winifred Sanderson broom, and a Mary Sanderson broom. And I'm gonna create these little wooden flaques to go below the broom. So it looks almost like a museum kind of vibe. Like in the movie, there's the little Sanderson witch museum and they have some brooms on display. So that's the kind of vibe that I'm going for. That's what's kind of in my head. It's very much so Hocus Pocus. Amazing, love the movie. If you guys haven't seen it, I don't know what you're doing here on this channel. But anyways, I'm going to bring you along to Michael's with me. Who knows, we may even see some new Halloween stuff. I was there last week and they didn't have anything that was like actually Halloween-y. So cross your fingers, there might be something new there for us to see. We don't know, I guess we will find out. So I'm really excited. Come along with us as we go on this journey. It's gonna be crafty and fun. Let's get into it. So this is the broom that I got last week that I just put up here because I thought it would be a super cute little accent piece on the wall. And it fits perfectly with this space. I used to have up another sign back here up on that wall and I decided to put the broom up. But now that I put the broom up, these sides also look kind of bare. So I was thinking, because our living room is all Hocus Pocus themed, I was like, you know, it would be iconic is if I customize these brooms to be like the Sanderson sisters brooms. So here's the one that I bought from Michael's last week. And I figured I could put one here and one here. So I could have three brooms, one for each of the Sanderson sister witches. So we could have one for Sarah Sanderson, one for Winifred Sanderson, and one for Mary Sanderson. And then I can do little plaques below each of them that I'm gonna hand paint in their like corresponding colors, their names on it. So it'll be little like DIY Hocus Pocus broom Halloween decorations essentially, but it's just gonna be an all year round decoration because as I've stated, our living room is all like Hocus Pocus spooky horror kind of theme. So that's the situation for this. Um, I think one looks great, but again, because the sides just look kind of like bare and empty, I figured that like three would fit perfectly across there. So we could have one, two, and then three. And for each of the Sanderson sisters, it's like perfect. I have this little plaque here that I got for another project that I'm going to be working on, but that's also what gave me the inspiration to put it below there. So like if I hand paint their names on it and then put it below each of the brooms, it's like a little museum-y kind of piece. So I'm not crazy about this shape, I don't think. I know that Michael's has a few other shapes. So when we head out there, we'll see what other ones they have. But yeah, that's that's kind of like what the vibe is. So a little like Hocus Pocus broom moment up on our wall for little accent pieces. And I'm really excited. So let's get started. Just arrived here now at Michael's. We're gonna head in and see if they still have those brooms. I'm gonna get some wooden plaques as well. So this was here last week and they only had like the generic fall stuff, but we'll see if they have any new Halloween stuff as well as the stuff that I'm actually looking for. So let's go in. Okay, so this is all new stuff here. When I was here the other day, they did not have any of this. So this is awesome new fall stuff, which isn't exactly Halloween-y, but it is still really cute. They have, oh, what's all this stuff up here? Thankful Harvest, Fall, Pumpkin Seeds, Pumpkin Spice Coffee, Pumpkin Spice Tea, that's actually kind of cute. I like the Toasted Pumpkin Seeds one. I would literally actually put pumpkin seeds in there, which would be fun. But what else? And then over on this side, back over here, Brandon was shouting at me saying, Blake, Blake, come here. They have some pumpkins. Wow, you guys. These are the craft pumpkins, and I literally have bought so many of these throughout my life here at Michael's, doing all kinds of crazy fun crafts. I've never done that. That's really cute. There's some deer in there, which is interesting. They have these little wreath hangers. I love that. A little red truck with a pumpkin. Last year, and for the past couple years, all my Christmas stuff has been like red truck, so that's fun to see. They even have little like red truck. Uh, 
wreath accents and stuff. There's mini wreaths here, a whole bunch of little pumpkins and gourds. And oh my gosh, I love these velvet pumpkins. These are always so much fun. But this is not the point of this video. I'm not showing you guys all this stuff for the video, but I'm here just to get some more brooms. But it's a pleasant surprise to see that they have some other new stuff. This is the other stuff they had, the football and fall, which I'm like blech about. But here are the brooms. They have moved them up here now. These were not where they were last week when I was here getting the single broom that I purchased. So I'm gonna grab two more of these for my project. So I'm gonna search through and see which two look the best. I just had to quickly pop in here and show these. They have some new Halloween fabrics in. So there's this one with the jack-o'-lanterns and the spider webs, which I love. And this one here, which is trick-or-treat Halloween boo with some black hats, spiders, bats, and pumpkins. So those are two new ones that I have not seen. There's a couple other like gothic-y looking ones down there, purple and stuff. And these are $10 a meter, which is pretty fun if you guys are like sewers or quilters or want to use that stuff for that. Um, I don't need any more Halloween fabric right now, but I do love this one and this one. Okay, guys, another quick pop in. I screamed. I was walking back here to see because this is where all the false stuff was last week when I was here, but they have moved it all. And they have this little setup now with all these little tiny treasures, the Ashland Halloween things, which I'm like screaming about, obviously, because they are so cute. The Enchanted Forest, there's this little witch bed, this little tree and it lights up. Oh my gosh, how? There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at the little bats. They just need to be bent up probably because I don't think they're supposed to be like that. Maybe, I don't know. So cute, love that. Look at these houses here. Those are adorable. I love that. Does this light up as well? Lights up. There's these little like centerpiece things which are adorable. A little like black fence garden type thing. I love that. These pumpkins, I got one similar like this a couple years ago, but mine's all glittery. Um, I got it here from Michael's, but this one is not all glittery, which is super duper cute, so I do love that. And then we go over to the other side, and there's somebody over here. This is all other tiny treasures, little things for Ashland. Oh my gosh, the little crystal ball, little pumpkins. These are ones that I saw that I really wanted, these little... I don't even know what they are, like witch potion jars, I guess. Crushed bat wings, witches, sage, and then dragon's breath. And then these little books, I got some other books last year, but they weren't labeled like this. So I don't know if their collection this year is Enchanted Forest or what it is, but so cute. I love it. Volume three, Book of Spells, Night Creatures, Enchanted Forest. And down here, there's some tombstones. Those are actually so cute with little cameos on them, little puppy, the woman and the man. Love those. This little witch table with the looking glass, the hat, the creepy skull, which is really terrifying. The chair, the little lounge chair, happy haunting. I feel like this doesn't fit in with everything else. It maybe does. These are cool. Oh, it's glow in the dark as well. They have like legitimate wicks on them. That's weird. Look at those. Oh, this, we need this for the backyard. But, I mean like life full size, size yeah. <laughs> This is cute, little witch legs inside a cauldron. She has fallen in and she is burning up. What is this? This also lights up. Oh my God, it's a little fireplace mantle with a fire and some bats and pumpkins and spooky branches on top. I love that. They have like turned it out this year for this stuff. And then here's a little globe. This is really pretty, really cool. There's like holographic-y ones here that are fun. And then just the classic clear one. They're so fun just as like a regular piece of decor as well. How much are these? They're $28.99 for the two pieces, obviously, and then you can use a coupon on that, I'm sure. I really like those. Those are fun. As like a centerpiece of decor or something, and like put some kind of light inside or like fairy lights or something will be really cool in there. Or there's like the holographic one, they look kind of like bubbles. Wow, these are so much fun. So we've taken two of these pieces here. This is the globe and then a little enchanted forest gate sign and put it inside there. It looks so perfect inside there. I have a whole bunch of like craft moss at home for my other spooky town stuff that we would like thinking about putting inside there as well so it all blends in. But that looks so good. The little crystals in there are beautiful. The little hanging glittery bats are so fun. The warty toad, so cute. The skull, again, horrifying, but so cute. Have this all your uh, Yeah, this would just be like a regular piece of home decor. Oh, so pretty. So we're thinking of doing this. I can't get over how cute these little potion jars are with the actual glitter inside. They're so cute. They look like things that I would have up all year round in my actual kitchen because they're so fun. The only like complaint that we were talking about is that the scale on some of the things is so varied and so weird. Like this is a fireplace mantle and in comparison to like that crystal ball, the crystal ball is almost the same size as the mantle and like the pumpkins and stuff. So, I mean, it's hard to tell right now because they're bringing out tons more pieces. So obviously you can like pick and choose what pieces you want to fit for the proper scale. And I know that they are doing like the dollhouse thing. They don't have the pictures up here yet, but they're doing like enchanted dollhouses and things like that. Um, so obviously you can pick which things fit within that dollhouse for scale. 
But in comparison, like this lounge chair and like this, those like are two completely different scales and sizes. So it's a little bit weird, but like I said, I'm sure you could just like pick your own specific things that you want to fit. Like look how huge these candles are in comparison to the mantle. They're literally bigger than the actual mantle. So it's like very interesting. But like I said, once everything's in, you'll probably have a better idea of what the actual scale for certain things is. Like maybe some pieces go with different stuff and some things go with other ones, but we are gonna be picking up one of these things today and a little crystal ball to set that up so far. Um, I really love this little house, but again, I don't know like what this goes with in terms of scale and like other things that they'll be releasing. I love this little tree with the bats and stuff, so cute. These little bottle brushes, the fence, everything is so fun so far. So I'm just so excited to see Halloween so early because when I was in last week, I was asking one of the managers and she's like, no, we don't think we're gonna be getting Halloween in until like the end of August. And I was like, what? That is so far away. So, and here it is. July and they already have some of this stuff in, so amazing. Okay, here are what I actually came for today. I'm getting some of these plaques to do my little Hocus Pocus signs. And I need to figure out which ones I think will best represent like the witches for the little signs. So there's a few different shapes and sizes, obviously. Um, this is one of the ones that I have at home that I got for another project that I'm gonna be working on. And this is what I like based my idea on. I was like, oh my gosh, the wooden thing with writing the witch's name on it would be so cute. But now I'm just trying to figure out like, do I do them in that? I feel like that's not as like grand or like traditional as what would have been back then kind of thing, you know? So I feel like this shape is cute or this one is cute. I feel like this one might be like my best bet in terms of how I want it to look under the rooms. So like maybe that one, this one's fun too. I don't know. So I have decided that I'm going to be getting three of these wooden plaques here. This is the shape I'm going with. I'm gonna show you my vision once I get home, but they're I think $1.69 each, which isn't even that bad. So can't wait to take these home and try out the project. Okay, so here we are back now in the traditional fall section and I have to look for two more of these brooms. So like I said, I got one the other day when I came here just as like a random fluke, put it up, thought it was so cute. And then when I realized that it would look so amazing if I had two more for each of the Hocus Pocus witches, I was like, okay, we gotta go back and get two more. So now I have to go through and look at them. This one actually looks like it's pretty good right here in the front. So you can see, how did I do it this way? So it has to be like perfectly balanced, I think, for it to look good. So let me look through these and see which two I find. Okay, so I picked out my two brooms. I've got my wooden plaques and I'm ready to check out. So we can go home and start this project. Okay, so we are officially back from Michael's now. I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I picked up while we were there. As y'all know, I already had one of the brooms that I just bought as like a regular home decor accessory. And then when I got this genius idea for the Hocus Pocus Witch Brooms, I had to go back to Michael's and pick up two more. So while I was there, I also picked up a few other things. So I ended up getting these little wooden plaques to use as the little nameplate plaques for them. So they're a little bit different shape than the ones that I have from another project. So I showed you guys earlier, I was like, I'm not crazy about that shape of it. So this is the one for the other project that I'm doing. I like this one a lot better because it looks more like classic, especially if I'm using it to do like the kind of museum design. I know in the movie they have like witch brooms on display there in like the Sanderson Witch Museum, but they don't have like the specific like Sarah Sanderson, Mary Sanderson, Winifred Sanderson little placards. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own. So I love this little shape here. It looks very like classic, simple, kind of like museum-y, I guess. I got three of these ones to use for Mary, Winifred, and Sarah. And then I also bought some of these command strips because I'm gonna be attaching them to the wall. But I was like, what's a way that I can do it? Because we also use that wall for Christmas stuff. So I didn't wanna have it up there like permanently just like nailed to the wall or anything. Um, even though that's how I attached the broom. These, I was like, how would I even attach these without using like glue or something? So I got these command strips here that are double-sided Velcro basically. So one side would connect to the back of this, one side would connect to the wall, and then you would just peel off each time you wanna take it off, which is fine because the Christmas decorations will cover up where the Velcro is gonna be anyways. So I'm excited for these, got these. And then I also picked up another color of paint. So this is gonna be the Winifred Sanderson green paint, and this is the Americana Deco Art Holly Green Acrylic. So I have this one for Winifred Sanderson. And then of course I got the other two brooms that I already showed you guys. So you guys wanna see what they actually are. I'm not sure if it will flip it for the video or not, but there's what it looks like. It's Ashland Broom Fall Pumpkin Spice Scented for Indoor Use Only. They're $14.99 each, but then I used the 30% off coupon twice. I just did two transactions and asked, I was like, can I just use the 30% off for both of these? 
So she let me do that. So I picked up two of those. And then I also have some paints because I'm a very crafty person. So I have lots of other acrylic paints. So I was kind of deciding what colors I wanted to be for each of the Sanderson sisters. So of course I'm gonna have the green for Winifred Sanderson. And then I was thinking orange for Mary Sanderson because in a lot of the merchandise and stuff, like her outfit is orange. Like her outfit is mainly orange. That's the kind of vibe, the kind of color that she gives me. A lot of stuff she also is marketed with like purple and black, but I don't want to do a purple and black placard for Mary Sanderson since I'm doing purple for Sarah. So I'm going to be using this Deco Art Crafters acrylic paint purple. I have a few different options here. I was also considering doing the pink, but I did test them out on one of these other little wooden bases that I have again for another project. So this is what the pink looks like just on its own. And then there is just this violet purple color. And then this was this color mixed with a little bit of pink. So I'm thinking that I like like this color here because it kind of has that, I don't know, that like violety lavender purple. It's not so dark and it's not so light. These three colors look beautiful together, but I'm also thinking that they're just a bit too bright altogether. So that's why if I were to do it with like one of those purples, I feel like that's a little bit more like spooky and like Halloween-ish, I guess. I don't know. These are again, all year round decorations, so it doesn't really matter, but that's the kind of vibe that I'm going for. So also with these little wooden plaques here, what I'm gonna be doing with them is painting the front of them, I think I'm gonna be painting them in their like respective character colors. So the front of it will be orange. And then I was thinking about for the sides to be like gold. I think that would look cute, right? Because I really want the color to pop out. So either doing like gold around the outside and then the orange, purple, and pink on like the inside for each of the characters and then going over with the black paint and writing their name on it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So again, these are like what the colors look like on the wood. They're all beautiful colors, but like those are kind of what I'm, I think I'm going for. So if I do each of those as like that main base color and then go around the edges with the gold, I think that'll look really pretty. I mean, I have lots of paints and you can just paint over it if it doesn't look good anyways. So like it doesn't really matter, but I'm glad that I tested out the colors to see which I liked the best rather than just like going for it and hating it. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up at Michael's for this project. I'm really excited to start it out. I'm kind of nervous, but I know they'll look great in the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, they're gonna look good. I have nothing to worry about. All in all, this project is gonna be like, I don't even know, the brooms were like $11 with a 30% off discount, and each of these bases was like $1.69. I already had the paints, and the command strips were like four bucks, so that's like 25, like under $30 to do a super fun DIY project, customize it, make it myself, rather than like, some other generic store-bought thing. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's get into the painting and see how much fun we can have with this project. Okay, so I have my cute little setup here now. I'm not a painter. So if y'all out there are artists and you're watching and you're like, wow, you're doing a terrible job. Don't come for me. I'm not a painter. I'm just doing this for fun. So if you guys have much better skills than me, that's amazing. Um, this is my first time ever trying to do this. So we're going to try and see what happens as a result. So I'm just gonna have fun with it and it doesn't need to be taken too seriously or anything. It's just meant to be a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching this if you do. So what I'm gonna do to start is go around the outside of this border here on all of these with this metallic gold paint here. Haven't tried this on the wood yet. No idea if it'll look good, but we're gonna do it and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. I'm not too worried about like getting it perfectly because I'm gonna be doing the other color on the front anyways, so it doesn't have to be like if I get a little bit on the front like that, it's fine. Not a big deal. Okay, so here is this completed little plaque now with the gold around the edge. I'm gonna let this dry. It doesn't look too bad. It's really pretty. The gold is nice and shiny. I think I like it. I'll have to see once I go and add on like the front color to it to see if I actually like the way it looks and with the colors. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish these two now and check in with you guys after. Now that I painted the borders of these plaques gold, I'm gonna paint the centers with a color inspired by each Sanderson sister. So Sarah gets purple, Winifred gets green, and Mary gets orange. I'm gonna start off with my favorite witch, Sarah Sanderson. So I'm gonna use this purple paint. I might actually mix in a little bit of pink to make it more like lavender-y, but I'm gonna see how the purple applies on this first before I do that. So let's see it together. It's pretty. I feel like the writing might be a little bit hard to see on that though since I plan on doing it in black. So I'm gonna go in and add just a little bit of pink to this, see if I can brighten it a little bit and we'll see what happens. I need to make sure I have enough to cover the entire plaque and with mixing colors, it's better to have 
more than less because you might not mix it the exact same way again. See, this is pretty. I feel like this looks kind of like her corset that she has or her skirt and stuff. So let's try a little bit of this on the plaque and see how that looks. Oh, see, that's beautiful. I really like that. It also looks more opaque than how the purple looked on its own too. So it's also a little bonus. I think I'm gonna stick with that purple. And I do have to be a little bit more careful with this now just going around the edge, around the gold, because I don't want to ruin all of that hard work that we did. So here is how it looks after one coat. I think it's an absolutely stunning color and I still have enough paint left over to do a second coat. So I'm gonna let this fully dry and move on to Mary and Winifred Sanderson's plaques now. So I'm gonna move on to Winifred Sanderson's plaque now and I'm using this Americana Deco Art acrylic paint in the shade Holly Green, which I think is like the perfect Winifred Sanderson green. It's so pretty. Let's try a little bit of this on here and we'll see how it looks. Ooh. That is really pretty. It's like that perfect, like, emerald, green, regal, royal, witchy, spectacular, magical green color that I wanted. So I think that's really pretty. Do you know that on July 16th, 1993, Hocus Pocus came out? So it was 28 years ago, just last week. Oh, wow. The movie came out. within the past like 10 years or so. Yeah, it's really had like a big resurgence of popularity. Yeah. Hocus Pocus fact of the day. So here is the Winifred Sanderson plaque with one coat of paint. Again, this looks beautiful. It is the perfect Winifred Sanderson color that I was looking for. Now we're going to move on to the Mary Sanderson and use this Deco Art Crafters acrylic orange paint right here. So let's move on to her. Oh wow, she's bright. That's cute. I like it. Here is one coat of the orange on the plaque. I'm definitely going to have to do a second coat on this one for sure because the gold that came up around the edge here, you can see it through the orange, so it's not as opaque as the other two. So I'm going to let this coat dry and then go over to do a second coat and see if I can cover up those edges there. Okay, confession time, you guys. I actually went ahead and mixed together two of these colors here. These are the Folk Art Medium Yellow and Lipstick Red Acrylic Paints to make this orange color here. It's very similar to this one, but a little bit more like pumpkin-y almost, which is kind of what I wanted. This one looked a little bit too neon, I think, on the wood. Um, so this is how it looks here, and it's a little bit more of a muted orange, which I think looks a lot better in terms of like vintage-y kind of feel that I wanted to achieve with these. So yeah, I really like the way that this looks. It's more opaque than what the other paint was that I was using as well, and it just has a better orangey look that I wanted for it. So that's the orange that I ended up going with, and I really like this now. Okay, so here are each of the plaques now with their two coats of paint. They all look so pretty. I have to let these fully dry before I attempt to start to write the uh, names on them. So this of course is gonna say Sarah Sanderson, this is gonna say Mary Sanderson, and this is gonna say Winifred Sanderson. So let's let these dry now and we'll come back when they are fully dry so that I can stencil out how I wanna write their names. Okay, so all of the plaques paints are fully dry now. So I grabbed out my ruler and I've started to sketch on some lines of where I'm going to be writing Sarah Sanderson, Mary Sanderson, Winifred Sanderson. So this is what it looks like here. There's no like precise measurements. I tried measuring across, but because the uh, shape like fluctuates throughout, there's no like precise measurements. So I just did it as evenly as I could. So of course on the top, I'm gonna write Sarah and on the bottom, I'm gonna write Sanderson. So I was practicing some fonts over on just some scrap paper. And I think I'm gonna write it on with pencil first and then go over and trace with the paint only because the last thing I wanna do is go right in with black paint and mess this whole thing up. So I'm gonna start to sketch out the words for each of the witches. And once I'm done that, I'll check in with you guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I feel like I have finished painting on the names of each of the witches. Here is Winifred Sanderson. Here is Sarah Sanderson. And here is Mary Sanderson. Again, I'm not a painter. I'm not an artist, so don't come for me and say that I did a terrible job. I'm happy with these. I think they look super cute with the way that they turned out. So now I just need to let the words dry, and then I'm going to be attaching on the command strips onto the backs of these, and then attaching the other piece to the wall so that I can Velcro those up. So let's get these to dry, and then I will set them up on the wall. So now that the plaques are all dried, they look great. I'm going to be attaching these command hooks. So basically it's just sticking on one part of the Velcro to the plaque and the other part just goes directly onto the wall. They're meant for frames, so they're actually good to hold up to nine pounds for the frame, which is neat. These are not anywhere near nine pounds, so these should definitely hold. Okay, so I've read the instructions on the back and you basically take two of the strips and just press them together. And it's the same thing on both sides. It's just like that weird kind of plastic, funky, crazy Velcro that's just like little, I don't even know what those are, little plastic teeth, they're really crazy. But you just stick those together and then apply one side of the sticky tape to whatever, I guess, the frame. And then one side goes onto the wall. And then you just press for 30 seconds and grab the bottom corners and peel the frame from the wall to make sure the Velcro sticks. But again, I'm not too worried about these because I know that these aren't anywhere near the nine pounds. So I am just going to pull off the sticky piece here. I'm hoping that this sticks to the wood. If it doesn't, I can always use E6000, like really, really heavy duty glue. I can always use that if this doesn't hold, but I guess we'll see. So there's the front of the plaque and there it is with the command strip attached. Let me do the other two now. Okay, so I have all three of these command strips attached now on the back of the plaques. Now I need to prepare the brooms for hanging. So as I said before, these are the Ashland brooms that are pumpkin spice scented, which I never knew actually when I purchased that one last week. And Brandon was like, oh my God, that smells so good. And I was like, I had no idea, but they are truly pumpkin spice scented brooms. So now the whole living room area here smells like pumpkin spice, which is not a complaint. Love me some pumpkin spice. And there's little holes in the packaging here as well. So every time that I move these bags, I get whiffs of pumpkin spice, which is a wonderful experience. So the way I hung the other one up on the wall back there was just with my hammer and some nails. I basically just took two nails and hammered them into the wall that made it so that like the branches of the tree could like attach onto the nail. I don't, it's hard to explain, but because this is like individual pieces of wood, I made it so that like the nail hides in the wood basically. So it's not just like sitting on top or like resting on it. It's literally like embedded in between the tree branches. I don't know if that's easy to explain, but hopefully you guys understand. So I'm going to take this out of the packaging now, and these are super um, messy when you take them out of the packaging, just because they are a tree branch that is scented so heavily. So here's what it looks like out of package. It's beautiful. This will be the front because this has like the nice woven piece, whereas this is like the back, but it doesn't look as nice. Here is the front. Here's what this will look like underneath. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. So. Yeah, let's uh, get these trees out of their packaging and hang them up on the wall. Mm, smells great. So these are the two little brooms that I purchased today. I'm very picky with the brooms when I was looking at them in Michael's, of course it's hard to tell because they're all inside bags, but I wanted ones that had the most like straight shape to them, I guess, so that the nails will sit nicely inside of the actual piece. So now that I got them out of the packages, let's go put some nails into the wall. I don't know if you guys can see, oh, there's the nail up there. So the way that I did it, I put the nail like into the branches so it like rests inside of it. Don't know if you guys can actually see it, but that's why I did that. So I'm gonna take this one off now just so I can measure the distance between, oh, I actually used three nails. Good to know. So I need to measure the distance between the three nails so I can try and duplicate that for both of these sides as well. So let's do that first. Okay, so there's the first broom. I just hung up the second one. It looks so cute. Now you have to do the third one there. This is so perfect to fit the three brooms. Like what an amazing idea I had. Okay, so here are all three of the brooms hung up now. They look so cute, I'm obsessed. They totally fit with all of our decor and I can't wait to see them with the little plaques that I made. So now I have to hang up the plaques obviously with the correct witch. So Winifred's gonna be in the middle, Sarah's gonna be on the left, 
and Mary is gonna be on the right, just as I do like all of the Hocus Pocus organization of things because that's how they were in the poster and that's just how I envisioned them in my mind. So I'm going to hang up these little plaques now and see if they stick, hopefully they do. Oh, here's my daughter Winifred. So let's show her her new broom. Winnie, what do you think? It's like cat sized. Yeah, it's a little familiar broom. You love it? And the broom, does it smell like pumpkin spice? Yay! Oh, she loves it. You have to go tell Mary and Sarah about it too. Let them know how fun they are. Aww. Yay, we did it. Now we can show Sarah her new little broom. You wanna see it? Wow, look. Wanna go flying? She's like, please put me down. I don't like it. Oh, that's okay. Well, there they are, you guys. What do we think? Is that Mary? Yeah. And here's Mary too. You guys all came to see your new brooms. So fun. Okay, let's go see yours, Mary. Too high. Well, needless to say, the cats love their new brooms. I'm obsessed with this. I think it looks so cute. It's such a fun little like home decor thing. A little DIY moment. Sorry. What are you reaching for? Is it a bug? So we have Sarah Sanderson, we have Winifred Sanderson, and we have Mary Sanderson, all the little brooms. I'm gonna give you guys a little close up here. So starting over on the left here, we have Sarah Sanderson's broom. And then in the middle, we have Winifred Sanderson's broom. And then over on the right, we have Mary Sanderson's broom. And here are the main witches. And Binks, yay. So fun. And Mary, what are you looking for under the couch, hey? Ooh, your eyes are glowing. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am obsessed with that. I think it looks so cute and so fun and Halloween-y and spooky. And like I said, because the living room is Hocus Pocus anyways, it just makes sense. So they definitely will tie in with Halloween coming up in a few months. They fit perfectly for all year round for our regular home decor. And like I said, for like, what was it? 11, 22, 33, around $40 to do this project for some fun, one of a kind DIY home decor. It's so much fun. I had such a great time doing this. Again, I'm not like the most artsy, crazy, craftsy person as I could possibly be but I had fun doing this. And that's the whole point of it, right? Is to have a good time. So I definitely enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. Maybe I'll get some inspiration and do some of this as well. All these things, like I said, I purchased from Michael's. Um, the brooms just came out, I believe last week. So if I post this video early enough and you guys see it, maybe you'll get some inspiration and want to make some brooms of your own. You could also do like Harry Potter brooms. They ride brooms in Harry Potter, right? There's Harry Potter, you could do like practical magic, you could do like the witches of Eastwick, you could do the witches, just like any kind of witch if you want to do like broom design for the witches kind of thing. It, it's really, really fun. So of course I chose my favorite witches from Hocus Pocus because that's my favorite movie. So plus my cats now have brooms to ride around on. So can't wait to see them flying around at three in the morning. They're all playing under the brooms right now, which is great. So love that. Yeah, if you guys did get any inspiration from this, leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you think of these, if you want to do them, if you're inspired, if you're gonna do them and maybe do some other witch brooms or something like that, let me know by leaving a comment down below or tag me in a photo on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you can to get my attention basically, because I'd love to see. I'm also gonna be posting this on the Halloween group that I'm part of on Facebook because I've seen so many different fun things popping up on there and I want people to see this as like inspiration or like fun DIY ideas and stuff since Halloween is gonna be here before we know it. There's like only a few days until Halloween is a hundred days away, which is insane to think about. My favorite day of the year is coming up so quickly and I can't wait. So this is definitely a good way to kick off the Halloween season, so to say. And because no stores have any Halloween decor in yet, this was my own way of bringing the Halloween decor to my life when I don't have it yet. Not long though, and I'm sure it'll be in stores. I know Michael's is getting all kinds of crazy stuff in soon, so 
we will see. But that is gonna be it for this video. And there are the cats are playing with our toys in the background, so that's my cue to go play with them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Click that subscribe button wherever it is around you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to be notified every time that I post a video, which will be quite often now coming up because I have lots of fun Halloween plans in store for you guys. So click the notification bell, comment down below, click that subscribe button. All my social media links will be down in the morpher box below as well, including my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those things. So go check out those links. And until next time, I will see you all very soon. Happy crafting, you guys. See you later. Bye. Time for some tea now. Mm.